Psychological validity refers to the extent that a situation or task within a psychological study can be generalised beyond the present situation. Using an environment which is natural or normal to the participant is likely to be higher in ecological validity and is more likely to obtain results that represent everyday life and in that way are more generalisable to the target population and to other settings. However, if a study is set up in a laboratory setting or where there is high controls, it is not in the participant's natural setting and therefore does not reflect everyday life, so the ecological validity is low. Strengths and limitations of conducting psychological research where ecological validity is low. One strength of psychological research that is low in ecological validity is that they are likely to be controlled conditions where the independent variable is isolated and manipulated to measure the effect on the dependent variable, so cause and effect can be inferred. Moreover, since the situation is controlled, there is more likely to be a standardised procedure and in this way it is said to be more reliable because the study can be repeated in exactly the same way to look for consistency in results. Another strength is that highly scientific equipment is likely to be used where ecological validity is low because scientific equipment is not something we come across every day. This allows objective measurements to be made where quantitative data can be collected which is easy to analyse and then compare. A potential weakness of psychological research that is low in ecological validity is that it is arguably reductionist since the situation is very controlled and only looks at one factor. It simplifies complex human behaviour by isolating the independent variable and does not look at the combination of factors. It is also usually harder for the researcher to generalise and apply the results where there is low ecological validity. This is because there are likely to be demand characteristics or social desirability bias where the participants change their behaviour to what they think the researcher wants to see. Another weakness is that there will be a lack of qualitative data since highly scientific equipment only produces objective data. Therefore, we cannot gather opinions or reasons for the quantitative data, so there is no in-depth, rich data that gives us more of an insight into why behaviour is occurring. I hope this video has proven helpful for you. If you want more psychology videos like this, remember to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss out. Thank you for watching!